is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I clipped out some headlines from a couple of articles because there's not too much context to these articles, but there's something interesting to talk about. This one's called Comments for Pirates Attraction Facing Serious Issues as Guests Get Evacuated Again. So, Pirates of Caribbean rides keep breaking down, and one of the rides actually broke down right when it got to the point with Jack Sparrow. So you can't help but think that just maybe there's a little karma here at work. And to my knowledge, none of the other rides are breaking down. It seems like this is the main one. I mean, rides break down here and there, but this is an ongoing thing and it keeps happening. So let's take a look at some details. She was riding the Magic Kingdom attraction yesterday, July 9th, when suddenly it faced technical difficulties and the lights came on. After waiting almost an hour, cast members came to the boats to pull them to safety. Now, it says she because they're referring to the person who was a girl who took the picture that they used in the article. So, she, among many other people, complained about this, obviously. It looks as though Pirates of the Caribbean is continuing to face technical difficulties as according to my Disney experience, the ride is listed as temporarily closed at approximately 1.05 p.m. today, July 10th. We have an Inside the Magic Team member inside Magic Kingdom today who was told the ride has been closed all day. Boo hoo. Well, it's no secret on this channel that I am not a fan of Disney and... I can't say these people riding the ride got what they deserved. I've got kids and I guess one day, at least once, I'm going to take them to Disneyland. I probably won't go. Maybe their mom and their aunt. But the point is, yeah, kids should experience Disneyland no matter what's going on with the politics that surround the movies. Having said that, well, as far as the money loss and dissatisfaction... Well, I think Disney got what they deserve. I think they should get worse. I think they should pay out Johnny Depp for, you know, the contracts lost. I think they should redo the Star Wars movies, because those are pretty much an insult to the fans, among a list of other things they could be doing a lot better. So, of course, like I said, you can't help but think there might be some karma at work here. Here's another one. Pirates of the Caribbean animatronic reportedly topples over, attraction closed. Well, those are just like the robots that kind of move their arms and smile and stuff. So, why did it happen to break down on the Pirates ride? I'm not sure. But, then again, I think Disney deserves to pay for that. Pirates of the Caribbean boat derails off track. Here's one. So this boat just kept going off the track, and you could see it separated from the track. This is June 26th, very recently. The other one was from July 9th. I'm not sure the date of the animatronic, but I'm going to assume it was probably in the vicinity of these two misfires also. Here's a tweet that says, Pirates of Caribbean is pretty amazing, but Pirates Down is a sight to see. Check out these photos we captured from a boat off the rails this evening at the Magic Kingdom, or hashtag Magic Kingdom. From the looks of the images shared by Sam's Disney Diary, it looks like the boat derailed near the last scene of the ride where guests see Jack Sparrow sitting surrounded by gold and treasure. It appears no one was seriously injured. At this time, we do not know what caused the boat to derail, but inside the Magic We'll update you as we get information. I think it could have been justice and karma that actually caused the boat to derail. Because how could they not know? It's a simple boat on a rail. It's fucking 2021. We know how to build a map of the world where you could zoom in and see, you know, an intersection in China and then zoom right out and two seconds later you could look inside a coffee shop in Russia but you can't figure out how a boat went off the rail. Boats have been around for hundreds of years. Okay, rails have been around for quite a while too. So it seems like you guys should be able to figure that out. Maybe they just don't want to tell the people why it went off the rail. 
And down here, related, Pratt's Caribbean to receive construction work soon. So for whatever reason, it's going to get construction. For whatever reason, something's got to be redone with the Pratt's Caribbean. I just can't help but think that karma might exist and it might be coming for the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction rides and hopefully, obviously, it will be coming for Aquaman 2. That would be something that would be pretty satisfying. And like I said, and like they said in the article, no serious injuries. If there was a serious injury, if God forbid a very serious injury, especially with a kid, I probably wouldn't make this video. But we don't have that. What we have is just damages and just unsatisfied customers. And when that happens to Disney, well, I get a little smile and I got to think. Yeah, okay, little bit of good news. Let me know what you think down below. Want to give a shout out to my friend Zach, who's got a channel, Unknown Regions. He's starting it up. I'm going to link that below. You know, check it out. If you're not subscribed here, Consider subscribing. I'm doing Depth vs. Heard, Celebrity News, Megan Markle, Marilyn Manson, whatever comes up, I find interesting. And if you don't subscribe, well, I guess I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.